Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a little bit different of a video um, because this is a random act of kindness from somebody that you guys all know very well. She's been around much longer than I have in the wax world and I think she's such a sweetheart. She's like the sweetheart of the wax world. Um, it's from Kentucky Wax Girl, aka Angie. Um, she had messaged me on Instagram and asked me if she could send me something. And I was like, sure. And then, of course, I was like, if she's sending me wax, I'm sending some back. So I didn't even know, like, what she was sending me. But I also sent her a box, and I hope she's enjoying it. Um, but I also asked her if it was okay if I made a video because she sent me such a generous box. Um, if I could make a video of what she sent me. And she said yes. Um, so first, um, I'm not going to read the card to you, but she sent a really sweet card to me. Um, I really appreciated this. And my kids, I have had to take this back from my kids so many times because this box has been at my house for almost, I think about three weeks now, almost three weeks. Um, and they, they keep trying to take it to draw on it. Um, so I keep taking it back. But anyways, very sweet note. Thank you so, so much. Just super generous. Um, also, Angie sent a ton of candy, which my kids have eaten most of. I have a couple things left over, um, and that was super, super kind. I cannot even show you how much candy because she sent so much fun candy. Then she also sent um, a, a ton of, I don't know if she used to sell this. I've seen this jewelry before, the paparazzi jewelry. She sent a ton of jewelry. Um, I'm going to show it to you guys. I don't know if you're interested in some of this stuff. I'll do all the wax at the end. But this is really cute stuff. Um, I'm This is like a wooden bead bracelet or anklet if you want it to be. I really like this one. Um, this necklace I've already worn. Um, and so has my seven-year-old daughter because it's just so pretty. It's kind of like an amulet. Um, and this is from Paparazzi as well. And these earrings, um, I haven't worn these yet, but match with the little stone inside that amulet. So... I was just like blown away by everything that she sent me. Um, more earrings. Whoops. Ah, so there was like confetti in the box and it stuck to stuff. Um, a little pearl bracelet. Some really pretty earrings. Um, let's see this. Oh, this really cool kind of like. Um, oh, gosh. What is the name for those band bracelets? Why is the word getting away from me? Of course, on my video. But this really pretty bracelet. And then she also sent um, some like really fun like cosmetic things. So like a sheet mask, facial um, scrub sponges, which I use these like these specific ones a lot to scrub my face. A, a unicorn brush cleaner. I have had to take this back for my daughter so many times to put it back in this box so I can make a video. Um, this is like a contour. This is like, I don't know if you guys have seen videos if you watch makeup videos like some of us do. This is a really cool makeup brush. I have yet to be able to try this kind of makeup brush, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and then she sent me some really fabulous lashes that I'm excited to try. Just so many fun things. Um, if there's something missing, Angie, I have a couple more pieces of jewelry, but if there's something missing, it is because my children have taken it because they have been so interested in this box that you have sent me. Um, but I've tried to keep everything free from them, but it's been difficult. Um, but let me get into the wax that she sent me because some of it is, uh, well, all of it is really fabulous. Um, the first one that caught my eye were these jack-o'-lanterns because they're Britta's jack-o'-lanterns. And I think you guys know how much I love Britta's Creepy Treasures wax. So this one is in one night stand, which is flannel sheets, which I love, blue and pink sugar. And then it says CC, which I'm guessing is cotton candy. And this was poured at the very end of uh, 2019. So there's, um, on this side, you can see there's kind of a variety of colors here and it smells so good. Flannel sheets. Like if you have not smelled flannel sheets and you're a fresh or a laundry lover, you must smell flannel sheets. And I get flannel sheets the most in this, but I definitely get blue and pink sugar too. So, I mean, this, Angie must have known, I mean, how do, how do I say this? She must read what I actually write under the waxes that I love because this is a Danny scent, like, for sure. And this is amazing, and it's in Britta's formula, so I'm really excited to melt that. I haven't melted any of this wax yet, girl, because I've been waiting to do this video. Okay, so this next one is um, Sassy Girl Aroma Leather and Balsam uh, from this year, 2020, May 2020. 
they're just these a uh, couple little pieces is it sassy girl yeah it's sga so sassy girl aroma oh it looks like her little cake bites the sassy girl cake bites oh wow wow that is leathery for sure but the balsam there's absolutely balsam so it smells very masculine Ooh, that is very nice she sent me three of those little cake bites that sassy girl aroma does thank you so much i actually really like that sometimes i don't love leather depending on what it's mixed with but that balsam is strong so i like that quite a bit this next little bag she sent me oh it's a little gummy bear it's called it's by dream wax cafe and it's called tokyo rainstorm it looks like she wrote on the back very strong um a super fresh let's see super fresh scent lasted 24 hours almost too much is what she wrote on the back and it's this cute little gummy bear i'll take a fresh scent that's almost too much <laughs> if i can get him out oh wow tokyo rainstorm this almost smells like a super fresh incense stick almost but like the incense is in the background like super oceany fresh incense stick almost that is really nice i've never had anything from this company before dream wax cafe that is crazy strong and really like i'll probably melt that in my bathroom because that's i'm always looking for really like concentrated strong fresh scents for my bathroom because my little melter in there doesn't throw super well um, it's just one of those little mini bulb, you know, warmers. So someday I'll get that updated. It's really pretty. It's really cute. It matches my bathroom really well. It just doesn't throw scent super well. Um, let's see. The next one. Oh, this is by Dream Wax Cafe as well. And this one's called Wood Smoke. And it's from May of this year. Um, or it's called Doily Woods, Wood Smoke. Oh, maybe the Doily is the type of wax shape. It's one of those really pretty um, lotus flowers. Yeah, it's definitely, this is wood smoke <laughs> for sure. That is smoky. Almost like barbecue smoky. Uh, who is it? Um, Hayden Rowe, her camp, it's a campfire. It smells like this one. Very like barbecue wood smoke. Okay. And then she sent me, these I'm so excited about. She sent me some rainbow melts. I think this, I think this is from her lemonade sampler, but I could be wrong. This is from uh, uh, July of this year. Lemonade and raspberry lilac. Sweet tart lemonade and raspberry lilac. So. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's, I get lemonade first for sure, but I love lemonade scents. And I do get raspberry. I'm not sure if I smell lilac. Maybe on warm I'll be able to smell it. But it's a beautiful summer scent. Very, very pretty. Very tangy and bright. Like exactly how I like my lemonade scents. Uh, this next one, I've been wanting to try this one. Uh, Destination Wax Frozen Clementine. Frozen Frozen, which is one of uh, Rebecca's blends already. Uh, so Frozen Frozen plus orange, lemon, clementine, grapefruit, tangerine, bergamot, and uh, it contains essential oils, this one. Mm, so let me show you the little top there. Destination Wax. And so it does. It, it smells like... A frozen clementine. <laughs> it's like menthol-y. It doesn't smell like orange for sure. It It's clementine. Like it's that sweeter. Not candied though. It's almost mandarin. Does that make sense? And it has like a menthol-y, minty. Uh... Oh, this smells so good. This could be melted any time of the year, but I also feel like it could be holiday-ish because of that really cold air. Oh, it's like tingling my nose with that. Or like that orange could almost be like a holiday orange. I re that's very nice. I've really been wanting to try that one um, from Rebecca. So thank you so, so much. Um, oh, another one. This is her Destination Wax Pink Sari. I've had this one before. Uh, her pink sugar combined with her patchouli essential oil. And so I used to, I had this one and I did not like it, but, but I have been, so, okay. I have, um, oh my gosh, why can I not think of words right now? I have collected perfumes for a very long time, like years and years since I was a teenager, I've collected perfumes. 
Um, I have been into candles. I have been into oils. I have been into wax, like all this stuff for so many years. And I've never been a patchouli lover. I do not like patchouli. Um, but this last year where I've been getting into like these darker, earthier scents that are blends of patchouli, it's helped me appreciate patchouli more. And I still don't think like I would wear a patchouli laden perfume or anything like that, but I have come to be able to smell patchouli and not think it just smells dirty. Does that make sense? And so I have a new appreciation for pink. Sorry. And I'm so happy you sent that to me because I'm trying to explore scents again with patchouli in them and try to smell other facets to that oil, if that makes sense. So, okay. Sorry about that ramble. Uh, this next one is rainbow melts, lemonade, copper tone, Ooh. Uh, sweet tart, lemonade and copper, copper tone, suntan lotion. This is from July of this year. And I love me some copper tone. It does this, my childhood, like, you know, summers outside and stuff like that. This, the copper tone does remind me of summers very, very much. I'd say the copper tone's much stronger than the lemonade in this one, but I do also smell the lemonade quite a bit. This is amazing. Um, I would, might request this in a, um, custom from Crystal, uh, Rainbow Melts because it really smells, this smells like summer straight up. So, uh, another one from Rainbow Melts. This is lemongrass or lemongrass green tea. Ooh, and fizzy pop. Um, also from July of this year. Ooh, that's really nice. Lemongrass, green tea, and fizzy pop. So I get fizzy pop first, but I definitely get lemongrass. I really like lemongrass. And whenever I smell lemongrass, it reminds me of my sister Megan because um, she really, really loves lemongrass scents. And so do I. I'm not sure if I get the green tea. It's like I almost get it on the very end as I'm sniffing it. It's very nice. A very like green, fresh fizzy pops. Very, very nice. Um, okay, next one is from Ella After Co. Beach Bungalow. Soothing aloe, sea salt, fluffy towels, and a hint of honeydew. Oh, yum. Wow. Okay. I get aloe first, which is crazy because that's not a usual note that you get first in this kind of blend. Then maybe fluffy towels. And sea salt. I'm not getting much honeydew. It's there, but it's there to like round out the greenness. This is like fresh beach grass. Almost. Wow. Her wax is so soft. It's messy. Wow. That's impressive. This is from May of this year. Wow. This is very, I always forget this word, but um, like makes you feel like you're actually there realistic. Oh man, that is amazing. That is very beautiful. That is, smells like beach grass and sunshine. Really, really nice. Uh, the next one is Rainbow Melts Lemonade and Gain from July of this year. Oh wow, okay. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting to show you guys the labels. I'm just excited to smell these and tell you guys about them. So I have been finding that I actually like Gain more than Island Fresh Gain because Island Fresh Gain gives me a headache now, unfortunately. Um, but when I want a powerhouse, like crazy laundry, clean my air in my house scent, I will put uh, Island Fresh Gain in. Oh, this is fabulous. Mm hmm. Yeah, I get Gain and Lemonade almost equally. Well, this is a new favorite as well. Wow. That is beautiful. I mean, you could melt this any time of the year, but this is like sun freaking sunshine in a wax. That's amazing. You guys, uh, crystal. That's amazing. Good job on that one. As if crystal watches my videos. <laughs> uh, okay. The next one is Ella after Co. the hundred penny box copper tone. Oh girl, you are just sending me my favorites. Sweet lavender and coconut milk. Oh my gosh. The label you guys, this is like that coconut milk and sweet lavender make this smell like a feminine womanly copper tone almost. This is beautiful. And Ella after wax is crazy strong. You guys, I don't know if those of you out there have smelled it or experienced Ella, Ella after wax. Why am I stuttering? I'm so sorry. Wow. It's sorry. It's very soft. It's like melting on my finger. I did just get back from um, the gym and showering. So I am kind of warm. 
That's stunning. Uh, these are mostly like summery scents, but I don't know. Thank you so much. Holy cow. You like totally know what I like. Thank you for sending these to me. Um, Hayden, Can Hayden Row Candle Co. Blue Sugar Vanilla Sandalwood. And I have had this before for sure. Um, it's one of the layered, her layered cups. Yeah. So this is one I, so I love blue sugar and vanilla sandalwood. If you have not smelled it is very much, it's a woodsy vanilla, not sweetened at all. So this is almost like a meditation scent. If that makes sense. It's very like earthy grounded, not sweet. Uh, and I, I really enjoy it. So she sent me, let's see, three, whoops, I'm dropping them three cups of that. Um, so thank you very, very much. Uh, this is Dessa's homespun scents, which I've never ordered from Dessa's, um, fireflies. And this is from last year. Oh my goodness. What is in the fireflies? Oh, she wrote it on the back. Warm cedar wood, damp night air, campfire smoke, and, uh, roasting marshmallows. I'm guessing is what that says. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what the heck is in this? This, I think there's beach nights in it. With more smoke, like mixed with campfire. And cedar wood. Damp night. I wonder what that means in wax. Like what that could equal. This is, wow. Holy cow. This smells like a summer night, like, like by a lake with like a bonfire going. Wow. Um, okay. That's amazing. Uh, if any of you guys have tried Dessa's or if you've tried this scent specifically, will you let me know what you think of her wax? If it throws well or... If you enjoy the scent too, because wow, this smells similar. It smells similar, but better than, and I'm sorry to say this because y'all know how much I love Barrett's wax crafts, but it smells similar to his summer night campfire, but a slightly more aquatic, like the beach nights in this is more aquatic and it's more atmospheric almost. That's beautiful. That is wow. 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 Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is from May, 2020. Zucchini, oh, this, sorry, blah, that smell good shop. Zucchini bread, sugar cookie, and creme de la creme, which I love that smell good shop zucchini bread and the zucchini breads blends that she makes. Yes. So that I get mostly zucchini bread. I've never had her creme de la creme separately or her sugar cookie separately, but it basically smells like a more sweetened bakery zucchini bread. So that is very nice. And then a K scented melt sugared spruce. It smells like spruce. Um, I wonder, I wonder if I sent you one of these two, uh, girl, cause I think I did. If I didn't, I don't know that. So yeah, it definitely smells like a more toned down sweetened spruce scent. I've had it before as well. Uh, two left here, guys. This is from Wood and Wicks Candle Company, which I've never tried. Mahogany teak wood type. Our version of the fragrance made popular by Bath and Body Works. It just says uh, mahogany teak wood type on the bottom. Um, that's pretty. Look how that's layered and glitter on the top. That's really pretty. So um, when I go into Bath and Body Works and I smell mahogany teak wood, it is not my favorite. But in my house, I like to I do like it because it's so strong. But I like to blend it with something. I love to, to blend mahogany teak wood with cool water. That smells amazing. Um, it also smells really good if you mix it with like a, this sounds weird, but a very heavy vanilla. Or if you mix it with like Rose Girl's Coastal Kale or Rose Girl's Morning Sex or um, I'm trying to think of the other things. I've Oh, coconut. Uh, is it Hayden Row that has like a, I could be so wrong. I'm so sorry. Like a mahogany coconut scent. Is it her? I'm so sorry if it's not. Maybe it was someone else, but it was mahogany teak wood and like a really fleshy coconut. It was really amazing. So I will be blending this with something. It is strong. I have never, 
used this company before. So thank you so much. Uh, and the very last one I have here is one more Rainbow Melt. Um, it's one of the Fizzy Pop ones from her sampler, I believe, um, July of this year. Uh, so Lushy and Fizzy Pop. So this is Strong, Bright, Citrus, and Fizzy Pop. And it is <laughs> very much limey, but it's a Lushy scent. So I, I can't remember what her So Lushy is. Is it her So White and Lime or something like that? So it definitely has like that Lush Store scent to it with a very strong lime and fizzy pop. Once again, a scent that I will absolutely love to melt, probably in my bathroom. I like really like, uh, what's the word? Like brisk scents in the bathroom to just keep it really nice and fresh. So I hope I did justice to this random act of kindness that she sent me. I hope that my kids did not take something out of here. I'm so sorry. Because this was just so special. Um, I was very surprised and taken aback by how much she sent me, what what she sent me, what you sent me. Thank you so much. Um, I just, I love making friends in this wax world, especially just people with good hearts. And she has a great heart. Um, I hope that, I know that she's had some health concerns recently. Sorry, I keep saying she, but I'm also talking to you, girl. Just so you know. Um... I hope that you fully recover and you get back to your normal self and you feel like yourself again. Our health is so important and it feels like we don't know that until we go through something bad. Um, so please, I hope that you're feeling like yourself again and feeling well and that your family is recovering and doing well too. On that note, uh, I'm a respiratory therapist. Wear your mask, get your flu shot, and please wash your hands and do what you can. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It has been a very emotional couple weeks. Uh, sorry to put this on this video, Angie. I live in Utah and um, we are having a huge coronavirus spike. <laughs> Sorry. It has been very hard and emotional on all of us. <clears throat> Sorry. Trying to stay strong and treat our patients as well as we can. Um, I, you know, we can't uh, break the law and, you know, cross HIPAA, which is patient privacy laws. Um, and talk about our patients specifically. But you guys, these, our patients are young, really young. Um, and they are dying and not doing well. And their families cannot be here with them. Um, if any of you out there think that it is not, I'm sorry. Think that it is not real or it is not serious, you are sorely mistaken. <laughs> I have been in my field for 13 years and as crass as this might sound, <clears throat> a lot of death has not bothered me before. I have withdrawn care, life support care on thousands of patients in my career. Um, I don't no, I mean, many people don't know what respiratory therapists are, but we help, we do a lot of things. But with COVID, the biggest things we do um, are place people on life support, maintain that life support and withdraw it when we have to. Um, it's been a lot. So if there's any way, if you feel like honoring your healthcare workers, just freaking wear your mask and wash your hands I'm sorry. <clears throat> I've been kind of MIA on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel because um, it has been a lot. I wish, almost, I almost wish that we could share more details and that we could show you what was happening. Because it's awful. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs>
Anyway, I'm so I'm so sorry. Once again, I know I keep saying I'm sorry, and I'm sorry that this is on this video because that is not what this is about. Um, I think it's because good people make me emotional because I just wish there were more of them. Uh, and once again, Angie's a good person. Um, when good people are out there saying good things and the truth and doing the things that we should be doing, it makes me emotional because I just want to say thank you. So anyway, thank you. Thanks for this um, beautiful box that you sent. And thanks for being a beautiful person in this world because it means so much. Um, have a good day. I'll see you guys later.